All right, all right. Who's ready for a Thursday thrill ride? Well, buckle up, everybody. It's time to trivia. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, and I'm so excited to be here on this evening edition of HQ. Ooh, evening edition. Doesn't that sound fancy? Can you taste the gold? Well, I gotta give a shout out to the entire city of Cleveland. Natasha Brown, happy birthday. Puggle Dog, so cute. Randy, Ashley, Bruce, and Charlotte in San Diego. The family that plays together slays together. And I want to shout out my pal on the ACE train last night. I don't know your name, but you waited until I left the train to ask my friend if I was the HQ girl. Yes, it's me. Say hi next time, all of you. So if all 996,000 of you see me, say hi. We got a million players here competing against each other live right now. Maybe you heard about us from a friend and you finally downloaded the app. Go you! Welcome! Or maybe you've been with us from the beginning. Hey, old friend. No matter what, you're here for the same reason. Trivia glory. Well, I know you're ready to play, so let's keep this short and sweet. You're going to have to answer 12 questions with 10 seconds. If you get them all right, then you win tonight's prize, which is $5,000. 5000 bucks. In this game, in HQ... Well, that's not luck. That is knowledge, which means that's hard-earned money. You got this. Let's do it. Q1. According to the old song, row, row, row your boat, life is but a what? Dream, massive phoenix tattoo, or Bitcoin scam? What is life? Does anybody know? I wake up and I ask myself this every day. According to the song, life is assuming the song can be trusted, but a dream. Dream is your answer, and 1,033,387 of you got that. Let's keep the dream alive to Q2. By definition, a person who cuts hair is often referred to as what? Birder, bugbear, or barber? I call her my hair girl or my best friend because I just say way too many personal things, but you probably refer to this person as your barber. It's the barber. And 1,019,267 of you are still in. Let me just say, a great default thing to say to someone who looks a little different is, did you get a haircut? It always reveals what's truly different without the awkwardness. Q3. Which of these music genres peaked in popularity during the 1970s? Doo-wop? Disco or rap? Who made it through the 70s? Gas shortages, hideous, itchy clothes, the Star Wars holiday special, and disco. It's disco tech. If you press that, you are a dancing queen. And 952,106 of you did. Feel the beat, and let's do the hustle to Q4. Which of these animals provides a key ingredient in traditional mayonnaise? Sheep, chicken, or cow? Delicious, tangy, smooth mayonnaise. Are you gagging? I like it. Well, you won't be gagging if you tapped chicken. Because chicken is the answer. And 509,463 of you got that. You could almost call it creamy. And yet, there is no dairy in it. Mayo is mainly an emulsion of oil and egg yolk. Let's get cracking to Q5. In professional wrestling, bad guys are called heels and good guys are known as what? Hands, faces, or torsos. Let's get ready to rumble! Or just answer the question. All right, well, if you tapped faces, you answered it correctly because the answer is faces. And 226,128 of you got that. One of the most dramatic events in any wrestling storyline is the turn when a wrestler switches sides. For example, when an evil wrestler reforms and becomes a good guy, that's known as the heel face turn. Q6. Which of these cat breeds gets its name from an island in Asia? Balinese, Persian, or Siamese? How many of you have a cat trying to answer this one? 
My cat Sophia cannot keep her paws off my electronics. So Balinese are not from Bali, but Bali is an island in Asia. So if you tap to Balinese, you are correct. And 67,700 of you have your thinking cats on. But this is our first savage question here at Q6, halfway through. Oh, but we got 67,700 of you defying savagery at Q6. So Siam is the former name of Thailand and Persian kitty passports say Iran. Q7. Who made the gaming console that indicated a breakdown with the red ring of death? Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft? Nothing ruined a weekend like being in the middle of a mission and seeing the power button go red, which happened all too often if you had a malfunctioning Xbox 360 by Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft is your answer. 46,282 of you got that. Where are my fours and Gears of War players at? I know you're out there. Q8. The director of Mad Max Fury Road also directed which of these movies? Borat, Live Free or Die Hard, or Big Babe Pig in the City? Charlize Theron, amazing in this movie. Total girl crush. But you know who else is pretty cute? Babe Pig in the City. Yeah, that's your answer. 20,445 of you got that. George Miller directed all the Mad Max movies. He also directed Babe, Pig in the City, and bonus fact, both Happy Feets. This guy is all over the place. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Q9. Which of these people is not an inductee into the Internet Hall of Fame? Tim Berners-Lee, Al Gore, or Steve Jobs? I just found out I'm going to be inducted into my high school hall of fame, which is definitely not the same as the internet hall of fame, but that's okay because Steve Jobs wasn't inducted into the internet hall of fame either. Yes, 7,626 of you got that. And we have another savage question here at Q9. Oh, 13,000 of you got out on that, but it's all right. Don't give up. I'm feeling your pain, but there's going to be so many more games for you. So Gore, often misquoted as saying he invented the internet, did get Congress involved in developing it. Berner invented the web. Now, despite being the man behind Apple, Steve Jobs did not get the job done in this hall. Q10. The U.S. founding father, famous for his experiments with electricity, was born in what city? London, Boston, or Philadelphia? We think we're good at multitasking, but can you imagine drafting the Declaration of Independence and discovering electricity? Well, Ben Franklin did that, and he was born in Boston. Boston is your answer. 2,549 of you got that. He was most associated with Philadelphia, where he moved at 17, but he was born in Boston in 1706. If you don't believe me, visit his birthplace on Milk Street. Q11. According to Guinness World Records, the hit single containing the most words was recorded by what artist? Eminem, Crazy Bone, or Busta Rhymes? Three motor mouth rappers, each with an astonishing ability to pack words into every square inch of a song. But who got the most? Eminem did. Yeah, it was Eminem. 1,134 of you got that. The final tally is 1,560 words. The song is Rap God. I can rap it, but no, I won't. And you're welcome. This is it. The final question. Clear eyes, full brains, can't lose. I'm rooting for you. It's Q12. The smart car started as a collaboration between a car company and what? Watchmaker, website, or travel guide? Speaking of smart, you made it this far. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'll do it for you. You deserve it. All right, it's subtle, but the name does kind of give it away. 
smart car. The M stands for Mercedes. The ART stands for art car. And the S stands for sunshine travel getaway guide. No. So close to winning HQ.com? Not this time. It stands for Swatch, the watchmaker. Watchmaker is your answer, and we have 754 winners. It's celebration o'clock, yes! <laughs> Four winners. I am so proud of you guys. That is impressive. We had some tough questions tonight. Geo Frank 91. You look like you have a really awesome time out dancing. Jay Beasel 1. I see you through your bifocal. It's a little blurry though. Maybe you need to clean it a bit. Louis MZK. 664 for you. Jordan Kenley, you are stunning. Oh my gosh, girl, yes. All right, what's everyone doing with their 664 to start their weekend off right? I mean, you going to the deli, picking up your favorite snack? That's what I would do. <laughs> it is so impressive, and honestly, it's the only way that I feel good watching all of you win. So, 754 winners. How do you guys know this stuff? I'm always impressed. I really am. I'm Sarah Priebus. Look, you might not be in New York City and running into me on the train anytime soon, so just say hi online. I love new friends. I really do. We're back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Tell your friends to use your code and get that extra life. I want to see you succeed. We got all this money to give away. Somebody's got to win it. Why not you? All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.